Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video we're diving into Jira and we'll be exploring its features powered by Atlassian Intelligence. So if you're looking to boost your productivity and streamline your processes, you are in the right place. Let's get started. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing and ring the bell so you won't miss on any of our latest content. Now, many of us have used AI in our everyday's work and it was just a matter of time when such AI capabilities were added to Jira. Atlassian Intelligence for Jira, released in May 2024, introduces several features that will make you work smarter and more efficient just as our team does. In this video, we'll focus on Jira only, but keep in mind that Atlassian Intelligence is available for other Atlassian products as well. Also, one more important thing, to use Atlassian Intelligence, you will need a Jira Cloud Premium or Enterprise Plan. We'll start with generating and transforming content. One of my favorite features, and it allows you to quickly draft a description or a comment to achieve something like this where I actually only entered the name of my epic and I have an objective, context, scope, uh, as well as the success criteria, risk and dependencies, and other useful information. Now to create it using AI, all you need to do is to create an epic, so let's do it now. And let's say we are working on a weather app and we want to include a weather forecast display. All right, that's it for now. We don't really need to do anything else right here. However, if you scroll to the description section, you will see this writing assistant icon right here. So let's click on it. And write the prompt explaining what we want to achieve. So I would like to create a description for my weather forecast display. All right, so let's hit enter. And let's see what we got. So we, so it identified our epic, added a description, included key features and also goals. I think it's a good starting point. So let's insert it and create the issue. Now, this is a good starting point. However, if you would like to improve this description, make it more detailed, what you can do is click on the improve issue button right here. And the first option is improve issue description. So let's give it a try. Jira structured my description, so now it is split into objectives, context, scope, success criteria. It added also risks and dependencies, potential risks, right, and other uh, information. So that's definitely great. Let's replace the description. And as you can see, I've achieved the result that I've shown you initially. So let's save. And now we have a proper description. Now, the second thing here is to summarize comments. So I can imagine a developer or anyone investigating on a reported support ticket with a long list of comments that are impossible to read through. So this feature is my second favorite. Now, I don't have any comments in that issue yet, but let's go to the previous issue I created where I do have some comments and you can cl simply click summarize. And what I really like here is that it's only visible to you. So you don't have to worry uh, that you add anything, any additional information, you will be able to view a summary in a separate section. Now, once you add a comment, you can further improve it. So for example, summarize the writing, improve the writing, fix the spelling and grammar, brainstorm, make it shorter, change the tone and be, for example, more casual, neutral, educational. So that's definitely great. Make it shorter uh, and also translate to all sorts of different languages. Now, the next thing that I also really like is the ability to break down the upper level items, in my example, an epic or a story into tasks, or in other words, create a work breakdown structure. So again, you can use the improve issue button right here and ask Jira to suggest child issues, or you can use this add button here. Uh, and when you select child issues, you will also see the already mentioned icon web suggest child issues. Now let's click on it. Now what I observed here is that it's not really that intelligent at that point. I would expect to create stories. Now I haven't tried it with 
uh, default issue type story, but I can add a prompt to reformat this into a user story format. So let's give it a try. Now, when I was testing this feature, it sometimes it works really well. Sometimes depending on the child issues proposed, it might not fully follow the user story format. However, I think that would be good enough and you'll get the idea. You, you can always add a detailed prompt and set the format that you want to achieve. All right, let's accept all. And now we have a list of stories. Let's assign some of the stories to myself and change the status as I will need it to actually check what are the issues that I still need to work on that I haven't started yet, for which purpose I can use the AI search. So to do that, let's go to filters, view all issues and try to write a prompt. Now I've played with it a little bit and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I did encounter some problems as the search results relied on the text description, not on the specific fields that I wanted to use. And I also observed that sometimes it does take more time to type in the prompt than to use the basic JQL search. Now let's see which issues are assigned to me, but that I haven't started working on yet. So I do have some stories. Let's check their status. Now some of them are in progress, some of them are to do. I asked about which issues I should work on next. So I think this time I got that right. Now the last feature I would like to show you is actually the AI help when it comes to creating automations. And when you go to the automation screen, you will see this create with AI button. So let's create it. And again, I need to tell Jira what I want to create. So for example, I would like to assign all newly identified bugs to the QA team lead. Let's see how it will handle that. So let's give it a try. Now I haven't created a QA lead, but I already have a basic automation created. So when issue is created, issue type equals bug, then assign an issue to and select the user that I would like to assign it to. So it definitely did help me get started in less time. So I also like that feature a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sure that Atlassian will continue to add more AI powered features in the near future. If you have any ideas for improvements, leave us a comment. And if you're just getting started with Jira, we got you covered. Check out our other videos available on the channel.